This interview is for information only and should not be considered as investment advice or a recommendation to buy shares in the company featured. Welcome to this stock box interview. Joining us today is Rupert Verko, the CEO of Cobra Resources, following news of significant findings from the recent drilling at the Boland Ionic Rare Earth Prospect. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Rupert, to start the week. How are you doing? Hi, Mark. I'm very well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Well, it's good to, to have you on, of course. I mean, this is quite significant news. Um, you found confirmations of high-grade concentrates across three mineralized zones, geological formations with high permeability suitable for that low cost extraction by in situ recovery. And I noticed your quote, these results are sensational. It is pleasing to see our value proposition materialize. And these results coupled with the excellent metallurgical recoveries achieved last year demonstrate Boland is not only unique, but world class. So I mean, pretty bold statement there, Rupert, how are you feeling about this? First of all, well, look, I think, Mark, the, the thing that we're most excited about is where we've put a concept out there and we've done this work to go and demonstrate and, and de-risk that concept. So applying a proven mining method that's very low cost to be able to produce, it's not reinventing the wheel, but we're applying it to a different form of mineralogy in a unique geological setting for critical minerals that are required to decarbonize. And what we're seeing in these results is we can certainly, most certainly achieve it owing to the unique geology of Bolton. So that's what we're excited about. We're excited because we're seeing those grade concentrations, which means less acid consumption, and it makes it easier from an ISR perspective. So. Uh, at present, everything is very positive. These are the results we want to see to be able to make okay. this concept work. Okay. Do you still have to do some ISR testing, not on site, uh, to, to test the concept? Sure. So, so there's two components to that. We currently have two of the holes that we drilled. Core samples from those holes are currently at Ansto, and there will be performing bench scale ISR studies. Uh, where we'll have an understanding of the time we will require to be able to, to extract these rare earths. And additionally, uh, the acid consumptions and, and what sort of recoveries we'll get under those conditions. And then what we'll be looking to do, Mark, is we've actually installed the infrastructure in this drilling. Uh, to do it as a pilot study in the field. And we hope to be able to work through the environmental requirements uh, to be able to get to that in sort of 16 to 18 months. I do remember that. So as part of the drilling, you, you're actually prepped, you've prepped the ground ready to go and do the ISR. You have to wait until you've got these bench scale tests, but you don't think they'll come back saying, no, 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 this isn't going to work. Is it more about just... Um, fine tuning how it should work and the methodology of actually how you should go about running ISR on site? Well, look, we obviously need to demonstrate that it, that we can recover it through ISR. This test work will demonstrate that. But what okay. we're very encouraged by is we've done some screen screen sizing or fraction analysis of the material that the mineralization is hosted in. And what that is showing is we've got fantastic permeabilities through the mineralized unit that is very supportive of in situ recovery and being able to get high recoveries attributed to that because our initial side of testing demonstrated that we're getting results of recoveries of, of the highly valuable heavy rare earths like terbium over 79% and diprosium of over 67%. So now that we have concentrated grades uh, with high permeabilities, we're very excited to be able to and, and look forward to seeing these tests to see that we can emulate that under an ISR environment. Okay. And how long do you anticipate the test taking? So we hope to have this test work underway through uh, the end of this month and, and okay. going into April. So uh, those results should be, should be coming to the market late April and into May. 
Okay, okay. I noticed as well, and this is of course something you wanted to do, was to demonstrate exceptional scale potential, and you have indeed done that as per that RNS. I wonder if we can. There's this model that was in that RNS now with the, the, the pictures you can put on the on the LSC RNS service there. I wonder if you could perhaps talk us through perhaps what we're seeing here, maybe talk us through how you're uh, seeing that um, that scalability that you mentioned in the RNS. Absolutely. Well, what, what's important here is uh, that core drilling really enabled us to have a very good look at the geology and understand the units that host the rare earth mineralization. What we've also been able to do is correlate that to the downhole geophysics work that we did down all these holes. And the geophysics correlates very well to the mineralized zones. And fortunately for us, uh, previous uranium explorers have tested a lot of this ground. And we've been able to go back and redigitize all their downhole geophysics and map out these uh, geological formations that host the ionic rare earth mineralization. And what's important here is this is regionally extensive. We're talking about these mineralizing units uh, extending over 155 square kilometers. So that's a, that's okay. a significant area to support potentially a future resource of, of a large quantity. Okay, and just on the, um, if we just go back here, just on the, the rare earths that you're targeting here, could you perhaps just go through, because I know the RNS mentioned sort of TRIO, which is total rare earth oxide, you've got magnet rare earths and heavy rare earths as well. You've got elements of all of these. Which ones are more important? Which ones will you be focusing on extracting that have more value to the market? Well, what's what's important, Mark, is, is obviously the magnet rare earths, so neodymium, praseodymium, uh, diprosium and terbium, but from a uh, from a source perspective and being able to differentiate in the market, heavy rare earths are very important. And okay. why is that? Because uh, in hard rock operations, they're not produced in the same quantities as their light rare earths. However, in our environment, we are very enriched in heavies. And then we get a great ratio in our recoverable basket of heavies in comparison to lights. And that makes the Boland discovery unique. And these uh, heavy rare earths have a lot of applications in defence technologies um, and energy efficiency systems. And to get security of supply of these out of a tier one jurisdiction is a very important step into providing a stable and secure downstream processing uh, mm -hmm. facility uh, for geopolitical security. So we're excited about that. And that's what we're hoping we'll, we'll be able to demonstrate to the market is what is unique to the Boland discovery. Okay, okay. So in terms of when you can actually get more active on the ground and then and, and work a bit further on this, are you waiting on those ISR tests or is there anything else planned in the interim? Well, we actually already have further samples at the laboratory at present uh, where we're going through and reanalyzing a lot of these historic holes. And okay. th that work is aimed at now confirming our modelled interpretation over this extensive area uh, to confirm the volumes that we've done and to, to validate the grades. And what we hope is we'll be able to then vector in on higher grade zones and then infill some of that work with further air core drilling to inform a future um, or a near-term maiden uh, res mineral resource estimate. So right. okay. uh, we're very diligently going through the process to do that as cost-effectively as possible. Okay. So, I mean, is it fair to say then, just taking your words there, world-class and sensational, that really Boland is going to be the flagship, the main focus of the company for the rest of the year? Yeah, look, we as a team have great uh, ISR experience and we see that as being a significant advantage. 30 years ago, um, ISR really dis disrupted the supply of uranium. And we see now uh, the lowest cost producers of uranium are ISR and, and over 50% of the world's uranium is mined via ISR. And we see a huge opportunity to be able to apply this practice to rare earths uh, to be co cost competitive with the low cost producers in China. 
So that's our ambition, and over the next 12 months, we, we hope to demonstrate that. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time today. Rupert Verko, the CEO of Cobra Resources. Thanks, Mark. If you enjoyed this interview, then give us a thumbs up, a like, or a retweet. Subscribe to us on YouTube or follow us on Twitter and hit that notification bell to be the first to know when we release new content. There's loads of great content on our website too, across all our programs at stockboxmedia.com. Thank you for watching.